Hey, welcome back. We're going to talk about a problem you may come across when you start to use menu anchors that are jumping from page one to page two or page 59. Okay, menu anchors are great. You know, you'll have menus or buttons or links on your website. And when you hit a menu anchor, it takes you further down the page. That's fantastic and great when you have a one page layout. But what if you have a link when you click it, it's going to take you to a specific part of your website. So let's say you got a landing page and you've got a button that says, take me to this case study. That case study might be on page five, but it might be in the middle of the page. So you want the user to click the button and jump to that page and go to the middle of the page. Pretty simple. But if you have a sticky header on the other pages or wherever, there is a chance that when you jump to that sticky or the menu anchor, the top of that menu anchor might be hidden by your sticky header. If you haven't got a sticky header, you will not come across this problem. But if you have, it will catch you out. And I'm gonna show you how we sort that out. Okay, let's get started. So we got a page one here, and this header over here is gonna link into our menu anchor. We then have page two, and on purpose I've made the header red. I've got section one over here, so it's a sticky header by, sorry, sticky header at the top over here, section one, which is uh, black, and then we have section two. Now the menu anchor is actually going to sit down here. So I'm just going to type in anchor like so, and I'm going to stick it above the header, and I'm going to call it stuff. Now, one thing I will say about uh, menu anchors, if you give it, if you call it stuff with capital F, FF at the end, make sure you use that when you link to it as well. In case of anchors, small case, uppercase matters, okay? So stuff, lowercase, fine. We're pretty simple on that. Now, normally when you have a one page website, you would actually just type something like this, uh, hashtag stuff. Remember, uppercase, lowercase matters. And that will just take you to the menu anchor. But because we're on a different page, we need to ensure it actually takes us there. So we've got to type in stuff and it's now telling me that that sits on a different page. It sits on the page live two. This is live one, okay, and we're gonna go to page live two, but we it still is not showing us the anchor, so now I'm gonna type in hashtag stuff, okay? So it's still hashtag with the menu anchor name. You just gotta make sure you've got the URL and the page. Let's just hit update, and then we're gonna go over to the page and see it in action. Okay, let's just refresh the page. So now when I hover over that, that will take me to the menu anchor on another page. But watch what happens. Remember, we have a sticky header on that page. Can you see what's happened? The header is half hidden there a little bit. And it would be a lot worse, in fact, because menu anchors give you a little bit of breathing space anyway. But it's hidden. And that's because we have to now offset that menu anchor. If we don't, you will have a problem where you might have an image or text or something and it's going to get half cut off by your header. We go over to our menu anchor. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go down to custom CSS. There's the code I've dropped in, okay? And there'll be a link to get hold of that code. You can copy it from the screen to be honest, but there'll be a copy to get that code from over in the description, okay? So it's hashtag stuff, which obviously makes sense because that's what it's called. Display block, position relative, now top. I am going to change this to be go with uh, 150 pixels, okay? Um, I think 200 might be a bit too much, but you can play around with it. What we're going to do is basically offsetting that without even putting the word offset in. Uh, so we're just going to say this is now 150 pixels roughly away from the top. So when we've refreshed that, if we go back to our live page, okay, and we go back to the uh, the original live, which is that page there, it's going to hit return just to make sure it's fully refreshed. And when we hit the anchor now, we've still got a sticky header. And look, it is now not hidden by the top. So if you've got a sticky header like we have got here, look, and look, bear in mind, look, it is still a sticky header. We haven't done anything fantastical here. We haven't messed around with it, okay? If I go back again and hit it, we go there. Whereas before, it was like jumping in and cutting off the header and the top of it. So if you're going from page to page and you've got a sticky header, this code over here could be a bit of a lifesaver and help you out with in terms of ensuring it looks how you intended it to look without any extra plugin, just a little bit of code. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow.
and I'll see you soon.